Hello guys and welcome to Adventure Extraordinaire. My ass is on fire. Now I learned something pretty interesting. This is Cezrif coming to you not so live from BMT, but that is just the beginning. You see, because I realized something. With the slime that I had procured inside that chest and the ice cubes that I had put together, I didn't know, but you actually get three gelled slime from this. Which meant I got a lot more than I thought I would. Which means I got gelled armor. Which means I could probably go to the nether and not burn to death. Now, if the enemies are going to kill me, they're going to kill me probably because they suck. And that's that, so I'm going to get stuck dying. But at least I shouldn't have to deal with... I shouldn't have to deal with overheating as much there. So that's good at least. Um, I need to find Endermen today, which can spawn in the nether. They don't typically spawn super often, but uh, just because I figured I could make this armor, I wanted to go back there and see if my ass would turn into ignition quickly. And I remember there was a fortress this way. Why is there grass here? What? That's mildly concerning. Um, Gru's here. Gru's here. Gru's here. Gru's here. Gru's here. Gru here. Gru here. Gru here. here. Get closer to the light. Man, where are my torches at? I, uh... Wow. Yeah, no, I, I don't have any torches on me. Huh. Okay. Well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to mine up to that fortress thingy, and uh, I'll see you guys there if I don't die on the way. Alright, so I made my way up through the cave with a safe, uh, a safe few amount of fire along the pathway because I needed to use fire to keep myself alive. And I'm gonna have to keep doing that because I, like an idiot, forgot torches. But it seems that I am actually going to burn to death. Uh, yep, yep, nope, standstill is not saving me. Uh, I'm gonna have to go back, but at least I can I, at least I can last here longer in the nether So oh, I got cooler from still shown in this cave If I stay away from the fire am I gonna cool off actually? I mean it's like I can't go to water All right, well now that I've cooled off a little bit I'm gonna go back up there and see if I can get a hold of uh, That nether fortress There's a Oh god, yep. Oh good, he killed himself. That makes my life easier. And just like that, the fortress is right over there. I still have no idea why there's grass here. I think it's a thing with my cave biome thingy. Ah, I'm hot. I wonder if I get inside the nether fortress if it'll be colder in there, so. I'm gonna try that. But of course, Gru wants to get a piece of me. Woo! Iron ring. You can use that for cool stuff. Ow. What the hell? Is this room got blood in it? Is this blood? Can I drink it? No. Oh. Um. I guess blood is a suitable liquid to cool off. That's nice, at least. Can't drink it, which makes good enough sense. You'd probably get very sick. But, uh... Now, I didn't think I was ever going to have to say the sentence. I guess... Uh, I guess I'm now a person who has... I, I guess I'm a person who has used blood to cool off before. Like, blood, sweat, and tears is no cap. And this is a chunk of flesh. Uh, light a fire, light a fire, light a fire. Why is it not letting me light a fire? 
Got six, man. Put it there. There. Crew was getting pissy. He was angry. Yeah, I, I don't think there's much for me here, and I, I, I'm i running out of uh, flint and steel, so I think I'm going to start making my way back to home. So once I was done burning my biscuits seven ways from Sunday, I decided to chill in my bathtub and drink the dirty water that was within it until I was satiated, of course. So I just ended up smacking my door a lot. But um, we're going to be cooler now, at least than we were there. So that's nice. And as you might have saw in the bottom right, my, uh, my wand is functionally regenerating mana, which is really freaking nice. Um, I'm going to sort, uh, this crap that I got from the nether. Um, I should have used my disguise kit as like a wither skeleton or something. Got an Australian grenade launcher, which I don't really need nor want. So that's just going to go in my TF2 chest probably. And, uh, I'll see you guys when I'm done sorting junk and, uh, I figure out what I want to do next because... I gotta find a way to get in Eyes of Ender some way or another. I was gonna go searching for a desert, I suppose, because that's uh, the best place to find an Enderman, isn't it? So, my gel armor actually seemed like it didn't do much for the whole nether thing, but I couldn't repair it anymore because I don't have more gelled things. So I just kind of put it in my backpack because I assumed if I did find a desert, I would want to have that with me because I wouldn't want to burn my bacon waiting for Endermen to spawn in the hottest biome in the overworld. So, upon it being daytime or morning, I shall embark on my journey. As we do per usual journeys. I suppose I'll go this way towards the ocean so I can get stuck out in the middle of the ocean and freeze a little bit. Um, we'll see how it goes, though. And if I die on the way. Because I've tried going this direction before, and it didn't get super far. You know, actually, while I'm at it, it would also be a good idea to bring torches with me, because I had been forgetting to do that. In my time in the chilly, chilly world, I decided to make some wool boots, because I, I thought if anything would keep me even slightly warmer, it would be keeping my coat, my toes from being cold. But I was having a prominent issue of freezing out here, which you'd think wouldn't be very problematic, because wool is not a hard thing to get by comparison to that gel crap, which honestly isn't that bad either, now that I think about it. But, it's... I, it's just never been a priority to make that wool armor. And now I've got to go jump in throughout the ocean, which is going to freeze my glutes even more on the quest to find a dessert. Snackies and all that fun stuff. On the bright side, though, there's plenty of water, so at least I'm not going to get thirsty. Uh, <laughs> might check out some of these uh, structures on the way. So I found this building with the side blown out of it, and look at that. I found, there's a strange effect and a master spell book. That's actually going to look pretty scuffed, so I'm going to give a few seconds leading up to it. Because I did not think that chest would have that good of loot. It, it has really good loot, holy crap. Or at least loot that I like, so that's nice. And good thing I healed myself there. I legitimately would have died from fall damage. This balloon ain't doing crap for me. Come on, balloon. Negate fall damage for me, please. And um so anyway, I've been i I've been standing around freezing a little bit, looking for that desert biome. And it occurs to me that uh the biome generation that I'm using actually probably wouldn't let a desert be around here. What the fuck is that noise? Uh, because it actually, it, it tries to make biomes, like, appear in order. Like, if it's a cold place, cold things spawn around it. And if it's a warm place, then you get warmer biomes around it. Um, so I'm probably going the complete wrong direction, but I'm still holding out hope. Um, for the time being, though, this little bastard 
needs to be splattered. Oh good, they didn't break my concentration while they were on my head. That's nice. Hypothermia is hitting pretty hard though. Fuck is that? I was just about to like stop heading this direction because I thought I wouldn't find anything because it's cold and I didn't really want to walk through the entire North Pole just to find a different type of desert. Which ice deserts are a thing and that's what the Arctic is. Um, but then I see this thing. What am I looking at here? What is this, man? It's like a freaking, it's a giant, really thin tower. What the hell? I, I don't see anything at the top. I think it's just a tower, man. Um, anything? No, nothing really interesting on my map. Huh. All right, well, anyway. As I saw this, I decided to go back home because I had been heading in the wrong direction. I had feared for far too long. So, of course, I wanted to hop in my jacuzzi and toast up a little bit. But I wasn't sure if the Palms of Plenty water was actually any good for tough as nails. But I did know that I was going up in heat, so my hypothermia would at least be less pissed off pretty soon. So, to celebrate my arrival home, I drank some dirty water. Because I kept fearing that I would always fall and die, I made some scout shoes, which would, again, probably give me less armor, unless I could put them in one of my TF2 slots. Um, which did not seem like I could, but it would allow me to double jump, and also infinite durability as par, par for the course for the TF2 stuff. So, that's nice at least. Now that I got these double jump powers, I should hopefully be able to stop myself from taking the continuous stream of fall damage that I typically take. And now that I am at home and I got that all sorted out, it might be a good idea to go to this village to then teleport to that village or a different village of any sort, really. Um, probably this one because it seems like it's getting warmer over there. So that seems like the optimal way to do it. I also made a teeny bit of ammo for this thing, which all you need is to go to one of those Saxton stations, get two iron and one TNT. Which, considering I got a TNT from that one creeper, made it pretty easy. Oh man, I jumped high. I forgot that would probably register with my double jump. It's got to be less damage though. So, I had made my way back to the temperate swamps, but as it was winter, it was really, it was actually kind of below average. I had put on my wool gear because I wanted to warm up, but uh, it took a while before that started happening. So I was just stuck with my hyperthermia in a jungle somewhere far from home. Hey look, a manco shop. And a skeleton warrior. Hey Saxton. Have I been here before? There's a busted window. No, I haven't. That's strange. No, I do not want to drink that recall. There's a scout over there with cosmetics and stuff. I don't really want to fight him. He's got the bat. How did you get in here? How are you in here? Why are you in here? Same reason you are. Gotta get out. Gotta get out, gotta get out, gotta get out. Okay. This seems relatively safer. I'm gonna drink some water. And then we'll have a commercial break, cause I don't want my dogs to die of hunger. Anyway, after that commercial break, I had remembered the reason that I came up here, cause it had actually been a while. There's a scout down there that wants to murder me, my health is draining, and I'm thirsty as hell. I'm also in a freezing town in the middle of flipping winter, and god I need to make a seasons thing. How do I do that again? 
season clock. Quartz and redstone. I'm gonna have to go to the opposite of where I'm at. Go somewhere freaking hot. Give me this. I saw that, and that's what I came for. You know, actually, I wonder if I stand next to a blaze rod if it'll warm me up because they're smoky. I wonder if they count. Nah, no, doesn't seem like they count as one. Alright, whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna have to go figure out a way to deal with that flipping scout. Where, I must wonder, is thine scout? Nowhere good, I'm sure. That much I know. There we go. It didn't seem like I was getting much healing out of that experience there. I I didn't even get the freaking water. Thought I did. I didn't. Instead I'm just freezing with hypothermia or hypothermia literally blowing off of my body. Watching whatever the heck that thing is. Float off in the distance. I think I should install an a armor mod of some sort. Get me something better to work with armor wise because there's a lot of dying that happens pretty easy and I don't... Although there is access to better armors, it's far beyond my capability to get hands on. Uh, where the hell that scout went? I have no clue. Maybe he got gang banged by the mobs. I guess I'm gonna get back to moving. Since that's the goal, anyway. How am I gonna deal with all these guys? Oh, you know what? I could probably summon a crap ton of zombies on them. That might work. Oh crap. That hurt. How they air blasted me through the frickin' wall. Seems like it. Oh yeah, they coming. They coming. Ah! Uh, they had a sniper. Ah, oh, crap. It's... Oh, fuck. It's gonna take fucking four and a half million years to get back there. That shit's so far away. It's so far away. So very far away. Uh, anyway, on that note, I, uh... I'm a little bit annoyed. The whole, uh... Dying thing, um... I, I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode where I hopefully don't freeze to death continuously. Because summer's got to come eventually, right? <laughs> so anyway, if you continue to enjoy my tournament where eventually we're going to try to get to the end in the Twilight Forest and all that, um, give it a like, please, and uh, subscribe. This is Past Says Rift telling you, my brain hurts. See you guys soon. I'll probably be at a boot camp not too long from now. I uh, hope to see you in the next video. Bye.